Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're gonna look at my 1980 Empire Strikes Back at at. We would be honored if you would join us. The at at, the all-terrain armored transport, the ATAT, -AT, however you wanna say it, I know. I know, we get back and forth about what to, to call it. I've always called it the at at, so that's what I'm gonna call it. All right, sorry. Uh, but when I was a kid, that uh, toy, man, that was, that was something that you wanted. When, when A New Hope came out, of course, we all wanted the Millennium Falcon or an X-Wing or a TIE Fighter. You know, one of those uh, main three ships. I think the Millennium Falcon was like the, oh my goodness, ship. And then Empire Strikes Back came out. And then, of course, we all wanted the AT-AT. And so I didn't get the AT-AT until... I was an adult <laughs> and I was waiting, biding my time uh, on eBay, watching different auctions, trying to find one that was as complete as possible. And so this one was complete. It still had its guns, the, the little transparent guns, the front guns. Uh, those are the things that are harder to find uh, with a complete at at But that one, the one I just got, didn't have any stickers. And so I'll show you some footage here of the at at without its stickers and uh, two little men I got with it. Well, not with it. Uh, I always make sure that my ships uh, always have action figures inside. So even though I have the action figures, right, I always buy duplicates, I buy beater figures, so that when my items are up on the display, uh, whether it's an X-Wing, TIE Fighter, Millennium Falcon, whatever, if you look in the cockpit, there are dudes flying those vehicles. I just... I just feel weird if they're up there and there's nobody in there. So even my uh, display at work, I have a little, um, I have the land speeder. I have Luke and 3PO sitting in the land speeder and they're duplicate figures to the ones that are in my collection. So my Tauntaun has a Han Solo in it. My snow speeder has a pilot in it. My B-Wing, my X-Wing, everybody's got pilots. So I got, I've got two drivers in my AT-AT as well. And of course, then I had to go buy repro stickers. Okay, repro meaning reproduction. Now, again, there's controversy out there. Some people say it's better to leave the stickers off because then, you know, you don't have new fake stickers on an old vintage toy. But then there's others like me who say, hey, we all collect, we all do Star Wars differently, right? We all Star Wars differently. We should be allowed to Star Wars the way we want. And so I wanted it to be complete. I wanted it to have the stickers, so I got the pre-cut vinyl stickers, and I'll show you what it looks like now. And there are a lot of stickers on there. You know, you can see the orange stickers in the front, and then you get a nice close look at those transparent guns. And you got the decals there on the side. There's at least four decals right there, right? And then as you go down, the leg joints have uh, little stickers there on the feet, and so, to leave him without his stickers, I think uh, he's not not as cool looking. So I definitely wanted to make sure the decals uh, were on this. And now he is the prize of my collection and it sits out on the shelf on display all the time. Of course, my other two big pieces uh, I've got, I do have the Millennium Falcon uh, as well. And I have the Death Star the Death Star playset. That was another one that I really wanted to have. I think now on my wish list, I, I kind of want the, the Star Destroyer playset. Remember that one? So the Star Destroyer playset I think would be cool. And the Ewok playset I think would also be cool. Although I think the Ewok playset is pretty big. I don't know where I would stick it. I mean, the Cantina that I just got, did a video for that a couple of videos back. Um, even that one's kind of sitting way up there. <laughs> I don't know where to put it. I keep collecting these play sets or these larger vehicles that I've always wanted and then you kind of run out of room, right? So, yeah. Uh, hey, that's it. That's my uh, vintage ad at Do you have one? Uh, do you have more than one? Or do you have some of the newer ones that have come out? There have been newer releases as well. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below. May the force be with you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.